between Australia and the Russian Olympic Committee. Great Britain strike goal. 6-58-58. Second heat of the men's 4x200 freestyle. Really, look at this. Great Britain, Australia, the United States. Eight nations will go through into the final. And you can see just in the background there, the newly crowned Olympic champion of the 200 freestyle, Tom Dean. The men's 4x200 freestyle, really. The second heat sees Korea in one, Germany two, Great Britain in three. Then in the golden lanes is Australia and the United States closer to us. Brazil in six, Japan seven, and Ireland in eight. In the centre of the pool, Australia leading off for them is Alexander Graham. He's going to swim into Max Lutcher, the 400 Olympic champion from 2016, that failed to make the team in an individual spot. So Max, this is his only race, the 4x200 freestyle relay. Within each of these teams, they're also competing against each other to try and post a fast time to make it through to the final team, should you be quick enough to qualify your team into the final. Australia lead them through the first 100, the opening leg of the 800 metres of swimming that's going to be done by the four athletes in the team. Matthew Richards for Great Britain leads out the quartet where well, she'll have its eyes on the medals. They've got Tom Dean, the Olympic champion on the 200 freestyle to anchor. They've got the Olympic silver medalist, Duncan Scott, to come into the team. Plus others if they so choose. Right underwater by Drew Kibler from the USA. The USA have won this so many times, 17 occasions they've won it in the Olympic competition. And they do like to hold on to these relays tightly. Alexander Graham picking it up now for Australia and Matthew Richards from Great Britain holding on, sitting in third. It's a good start for Graham and the Australians. A quick takeover from Australia as Matt Horton can't wait to get involved in Tokyo 2020. For the United States, it's Andrew Seliscar and for Great Britain, one of the powerhouses of British middle distance swimming, James Guy himself, a world champion in middle distance freestyling in years gone by. Mac Horton worked his way into this 200 metres freestyle. He's started as a distance swimmer, so it's not surprising to see him falling a little behind the second swimmer from the USA who has really motored in the first 75 metres, but expect to see Horton start to wind up a little bit more as this 200 goes on. And James Guy for Great Britain up in A3 with the red hat, the traditional red hat of the British team. He's a great relay swimmer, he loves the relays and Great Britain has had terrific success in the relays over the years and Guy will want to keep himself and his team in touch with the leaders, the United States, as Matt Horton has a little bit of work to do and his leg of the 4x2 team. Good swimming by Andrew Salaskar from the USA. Third 50 has been good for him, but James Guy, the British team, are very, very good. They do have an opportunity to be a major player and potentially a medal winner. Here comes Matt Horton as well, but a full body length plus behind the two leaders. Well, Britain won silver in Rio, and they are the world champions in 2017, so they, fear, they will fear no one. James Guy putting in a magnificent 450 in his leg to hand over to Callum Jarvis. And Jarvis is unlikely to give any quarter to Elijah Winnington, who's coming in now for Australia, or Patrick Callan for the United States. And uh, we can't forget that the rest of the field are involved in this because America and Australia have not shaken off the attention of Brazil in six, of uh, Japan closer to us in seven, nor of Germany in main two. It's more like they're in for Germany. And every opportunity for Germany to stay in touch with the Australians. Well, a nice performance by Callum Jarvis. Reading off to the right-hand side, very balanced with his stroke. He's got the rolling six-beat kick going. Stays quite low with turning his head and taking that breath. Australia is swimming themselves back into second place now with Elijah Winnington. He came into these games as the world number one ranked 200 freestyler and didn't progress through really 
didn't perform, but he's trying to swim Australia into securing a spot into this final. Patrick Callan just having another surge away from the Australian at that 100 metre mark. Well, this is all about Great Britain. Look at the gap that they've built up. I know there are substitutes coming in the other teams, as there are in Great Britain, but this is a team that has been focusing on the 4 by 2 gold at these at these Olympic Games for the last four years. They won silver in Rio, and that really put the wind in the sails. They had a magnificent 200 and 400 group of athletes, as well as the sprinters coming in with the 100 freestyle, which had been a huge gap in British swimming for so long. They've plugged that gap, and now Britain so dominant in the relays at the European Championships earlier this year, bringing that kind of form into this relay in Tokyo 2020, certainly in the men's 4x2. And they're two body lengths clear of Australia and the United States now. And this is in the water, the new Olympic champion, Tom Dean. So this result won't change. There is no way that the other teams are taking any water off the new Olympic champion over 200 metres freestyle. I wonder how he feels post winning that gold medal. There hasn't been a lot of time between to celebrate. It's back in the water and racing yet again. There's a battle going on for the second place between Australia and the USA. And the USA is so dominant over so long. They'll have some changes to make for their final team, but so too Great Britain. Well, it's a lap of honor for yeah. the newly crowned Olympic champion, the gold medalist at the Olympic Games, Tom Dean. And he must be loving this day. I'm sure the team staff have just said to him, you're now the Olympic champion, just go in, you can swim free, you can swim easy, there are no expectations on the want from you, just do the job for the team, and we'll set the fireworks off in the final. It's always the best advice from a coach, when an athlete comes up and says, what should I do, what should I focus on? And they say, have fun. I'm sure that was the advice to Tom Dean in this 4 by 200 freestyle relay. Safe changeovers and have fun. Zach Inserti is putting in the last leg for Australia and it's fair to say that Tom Dean has just pulled the handbrake on yeah. and is just in second gear. Well, you're reading my mind because cruising <laughs> in at the head of this 4x200 team, Great Britain are dominating this second heat and, uh, wow, well, look at that, easing into the finish now. He's already started his swim down, the Olympic gold medalist in front of Australia. We've got the better of the United States and that's the top three and these are really the three favourites for the gold when we get to the final. 7.03.25 for Great Britain. Their national record at 7.02.04 is certainly under threat now as Britain lead the teams through to the final. These are the eight nations that will contest the final of the men's 4x200 freestyle relay. The favourites are Great Britain. Tom Dean will lead them out. They're going to be anchored by the Olympic silver medalist, Duncan Scott. How does that sound? Great Britain chasing a third gold medal in Tokyo 2020. Kieran Smith from the USA just forcing it out ahead of the field at the moment. No prizes won at the 25 metre mark, but he certainly got himself off to an OK start. Great Britain just coming through as well. That's Tom Dean. As James Parrott said, he has won the Olympic Games gold medal in his 200 metres freestyle. And if you remember that turn of freestyle, he came through in the final stages. So don't be panicked if he's not there in the first 100 metres because the second half of his 200 free will be very, very good. And of course, it takes four swimmers to win this 4x200 freestyle relay. So they have to put it together and they have to be safe on the changeovers. Well, the United States with something to prove. Kieran Smith finished fifth in the individual final on the 145. He's going to be there or thereabouts. Sheffer, remember, third in that final for Brazil in lane eight, but now on the charge in the middle of the pool with the red hat. It's Great Britain still in the lead, though. The United States, this is a great swim from Kieran Smith. Can he hang on in the final 50? All the occasions that we've held this 4x200 freestyle relay, the USA has not lost a gold medal at the Olympics very often. They've won it on 17 occasions. They have a great sense of history when it comes to the relays. They want to win this. Kieran Smith has put in a blinder of a first leg. Let's see what time he goes on the wall. 
144-74. Tom Dean won the individual in 144-2. Tom Dean a little bit off his pace, 145-7. It's not the best of starts for Great Britain. They won't mind. There's talent across the quartet, and it does take four to win the medals. James Guy now in for Great Britain. Great experience in James Guy. He's an individual world champion in his own right from 2017 and here he comes in to do the job for the really as he has done so often over the last six seven years james was very good in the heats of the 4x200 freestyle relay that's james guy he's already bridged this gap with the american this is drew kibler that is in the water for the usa Kyle Chalmers, Olympic champion in the 100 metres freestyle, is in the water for Australia. He also won the trials in the 200 freestyle, but elected not to race it here at Tokyo. Great underwater by the Australian, but James Guy is absolutely motoring. Guy on the charge, and my mistake, he's a world champion in the 200 freestyle, not the 400, and that was in Kazan 2015 for those statistics James Guy now doing the job as he's so often done bringing Great Britain back on level terms with the United States Drew Kibler in for the Americans and James Guy on 50 meters to go now on this is breathing to the left looking at the Americans he's eaten into the lead they're neck and neck at the moment the best of the rest behind the two leaders is possibly Australia in five with possibly the Russians in six this is going to be very tight so coming in for the changeover for the third swimmer, James Guy, I think we'll have a change in lead here. Very quick on the changeover from Great Britain, very quick. Matthew Richards into the water. And Australia are sitting in fourth. The Russian Olympic Committee team got into the wall on third on that changeover. And the USA has Zach Apple in the water. He Apple. had a fantastic swim in the four by one split. What's he got in the 200? Anchoring the Americans to victory on that occasion. Apple is in the engine room of this American quartet. Looking across at Great Britain in the form of Matt Richards. Kyle Chalmers has done the job for Australia, putting them into contention. It's Zach Inserti in for the Australians and they've just got their noses in front of the Italians. You can't count out Italy. Had a terrific heat swim and they're three in a line behind the leaders. They're at the midpoint of this third quarter of the relay. Great Britain and the United States lead the way. Great underwater by Matthew Richards. Zach Apple has tried to bridge the gap in the first 100 metres. We'll see if he pays for that in the second 100 metres. But the intention underwater of that 100 metre turn from Matthew Richards and he's taken over again. There was only three 100 separating them at that last turn. And now the margin's bigger. What a great relay swim by Matthew Richards. Fantastic around the turns. You can see him bounce off the wall, hammer the underwater fly leg kick, and the Americans are fading. This is just a commitment too far for America. They're going to be overhauled by four teams. The Americans falling apart as Great Britain strike for home in the form of Duncan Scott. There's no way Great Britain are going to lose this. Scott, the individual silver medal winner in the 200 freestyle, is going to bring Great Britain home on a march. The best of the rest now is Russia in lane six. Australia in five. The Americans are finding themselves in fifth position now. Italy in fourth. Well, Great Britain won this in 1908 when they first introduced the 4x200 freestyle relay. This is going to be a momentous occasion for the Great Britain team. But look at this race on for the silver and the bronze. There's another 100 to go. You don't want to be trying to win it at the 700 metre mark. In the water for the USA is Townley Haas trying to pick back up after Zach Apple absolutely fatigued in the final stages of his leg. Stefano Di Cola in for Italy, they're in lane three, battling with Australia, and Australia's Thomas Neal in the anchor leg for the Australians, but Russian Olympic Committee hanging on with Gallio in the anchor leg. Great Britain now in pole position though, it's a procession for Great Britain to gold. Well, just one lap to go. Duncan Scott hits the wall, has a look, he knows, stays underwater of that choppy, drag-filled space off the turns, and look at him head home, and look at this race for the silver and bronze. No 
nothing in it. It's going to be goal for Great Britain. They're celebrating already. A procession for Duncan Scotland. Look, the wall Michael right at his fingertips. In the closing stages, the battle behind him is between Australia and the Russian Olympic Committee. Great Britain strike goal. 6 58 58. What a swim to Great Britain. <laughs> Jimmy Guy is in tears. He can barely contain the emotion. What a day for Great Britain. It's the third gold medal for the British team.